move both chests into here, reorganize so it's easier to see what's going on. And doof. Yep. Another watermelon has grown. Excellent. That means we get to eat. Alright, a couple left over to make seeds out of. We're gonna go ahead and do because well, I like that I can reach through the window for that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make more melon seeds because more important to have those since we already have melons growing. Sun's going down. Or rather, the moon's going down, I should say. Not the sun. It's okay. And another tree grew. Awesome. This seems to be really good, having a grid with uh, four trees separated with three blocks in between each one in a square, two around the outside, because all the trees, unless they get super massive, are going to fit completely inside these walls, and we won't lose any drops, and yet they have enough room for all four of them to probably grow. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move my water, I think, generate some more cobblestone, and probably get started on the mob trap. See you guys soon. Alright, I think I got my plan on how I'm doing my cobblestone generator coming off this side, as well as the uh, portal going to be over there. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, oh yeah. Get our bucket. Just going to have to do some water scaffolding in here for a minute. back. Put it back over here actually. Keep these plants going. built a mock-up of this cobblestone generator I'm gonna make here on my test world previously using only the 10 obsidian that they give you in here. Um, it's just kinda complicated, hard to remember, and I wanna make sure I get it set up properly and don't put the obsidian in the wrong spot. So uh, yeah, I'll come back after I make a little bit more progress on it and show you what I've done. Alright guys, I think I got it figured out. 
built it up and tore part of it down again so I can show you what we've got here. So we're going to have the portal right here, and here's the bottom four pieces, and then I've got cobblestone in each corner. Um, and then this is just so you don't fall out the back when you go through the portal. Um, then starting right here on the other side, directly below this far piece, we do a block. Then in front of that we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We come out seven, another block up here, and then line both sides with seven. A block higher, you do five. So up and up. And it ends like that. So we got seven on the bottom, seven on each side, one on each end, five up here, and then it switches. You'll continue up on the five there and here and go back one space and up three. On the opposite side, you do the exact same thing, except you start it one block higher. So you have the five, and then you will do four up there. And then one, and two back, and there. One layer, one layer higher, like so. Now, another obsidian's gonna go there, so we won't pull that in just yet. Um, we're gonna put lava right here. It's gonna flow down and try to go that way, and also flow into the block I'm standing in right here, and then down. It's very important you put the lava in here before you put water over there. Um, otherwise, it's just not gonna end up working right. And, uh, I'm trying to remember, Dejacula, I believe, was the name of the YouTube user I learned this cobblestone trick from. Uh, slightly modified from what he did. Um, you can check him out on YouTube. Anyways, so where that obsidian block is, we're going to place two cobblestone across. Alright. And up one more again. And we're going to leave this because that's going to be obsidian. Um, okay. One other thing we have to do, we have to build some signs. I'll just let this like this so you can hop up there easily. Um, let's go make some signs. think three signs is all we need pretty sure, but we'll go check here in a second. Okay. Well, I know we need at least three signs, so we grab a little bit more wood. your signs before you do the lava and the water. It makes things a heck of a lot easier. Alright. We are going to place these. Let's see here. So it drops down. We do want the water to flow out. We just don't want it mixing with the stream of water that we'll have down here. And again, I can't actually make this fully work until I get that portal fully built and go get the other block of ice in the nether. But in the meantime, I wanted to get this done, so so I was ready to go. Okay, you're going to place both signs like so, directly across from one block below where the water is going to come down and over. So that will keep it up there. We need a third sign to go right here. It will keep the water from flowing forward and down into this stream. And we're gonna stand up here. And we can place one block here. And one block under this sign here. Alright. 
Now you'll stand here, pick through until you hit the obsidian. The lava's gonna come down, try to connect up with the water that's coming this way, and then we will be generating two cobblestone blocks here. All right. Grab our little obsidian and build this up the rest of the way. Two, three, three, cobblestone here, and over there, and there we go. There's our portal. Right outside our doorstep. Alright. So you can see how that's going to incorporate into the wall for our infinite cobblestone generator here. And I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm going to block all this in so we don't fall to our peril. I just noticed through the window, we got our first pumpkin. And we got another watermelon over there. So I'm gonna go grab those so I have some food before I head to the nether. Grab that lava, throw it in there, and two blocks of wood. Wooden planks, I mean. Right. Lava time. Give me that. First things first, gotta dig out these two blocks. Make sure we have something under there. and then place something combustible wooden blocks probably above and wait 